And here we are. Okay. I was holding my breath because I was I was waiting um, to see if the enemies would respawn in this room, but thankfully they didn't. I guess not all enemies respawn in all dungeons, so that's that's actually a pretty good thing because it can get annoying. I guess it can become kind of a nuisance having to fight enemies again. Or then again, you could just completely ignore them and walk down the hallway. It's not really such a big deal. And here is our last magical pot. We really have no need to go back anymore, so. Without further ado, let us go ahead and take care of this boss. If I can open it. I wasn't close enough to the door. Of course, of course. <sighs> Ooh, wow. This is a very pretty room, if I do say so myself. Ooh, who, and who is that? Who is that? You know, I, I, just, I feel like, like wasting time just to use my telescope and see exactly who it is. Huh. That must be Little Macker. And, and it is, spoiler alert, it is, it is Macker. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh oh. That's not good. And this is why we need to kill this plant. Because he ate our friend. Oh, this, this boss isn't actually too difficult. Um, you just need to be ex- you know, with with any boss, really, you just gotta be careful and and alert to to those tentacles, cause they will strike you. Um, so just keep keep moving around, I guess. But what you really want to focus on is using your boomerang to uh, not like that. Using your boomerang to cut down these uh, its arms, I guess, that are keeping it attached to the ceiling. And at the same time, while using your boomerang, you don't want to sit still because, yeah, the arms are going to try to attack you like that. So, let's just keep going. What? What happened? Man. It does take time if you don't, uh... Well, well, sometimes it just really does take time, so... But there are only two more, so... And correct me if I am wrong, but I think that if you're not fast enough at doing it, they will actually grow back. Okay. I forgot about that. And I died. And I died. Cut! Cut here! Cut here! Cut! It's kind of like I didn't die at all. Right when I entered the room, the boss was just there waiting for me. It's kind of like it was giving me a break. Like, like it gave me a break. Like it saw that I was really hurt after that last attack it did. So it said, oh, you know what? Why, why don't you go ahead and leave the dungeon and try to find some potions or whatever. Not that I have any potions. So, yeah, you actually need to attack this guy quickly. Don't take too long inside of the plant, otherwise it will engulf you and spit you out, as you guys saw. I'm just having a hard time with this right now, wow. I gotta do better at things. I gotta do better at life, really. This shows, this game has showed me that I have to do better at life. You probably have to do this a total of three times, as per the usual in The Legend of Zelda. But yeah, move, move, move. No, I was too late. Oh, please don't be two hearts. Please don't be two hearts. It was two hearts. Okay, so... Oh, uh, come on. Come on. What? You see, it's easy to miss arms. It's easy to miss some of the arms, so you may want to try to try to hit them in order, I guess. Maybe not in order. It's not the right phrase, but... Yeah, hit them consecutively so that um, you don't need to bother going back around in case you missed one. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Plant Man. I'm sorry for cutting your arms like this. Actually, I'm not really sorry, because you destroyed or you ate my friend Macker, and I'm going to rescue him from your belly. Oops. No, no, no. Mm, please, just be two hearts. Just two hearts. Okay, so this is some serious stuff though. I'm already down to half a heart, so oh man, my heart is racing right now. This is very intense. Alright, and I just gotta attack him some more. Come on! And just to play it safe, I'm going to go ahead and not stay in there for too much longer. Oh, the now that I think about it, I probably should have picked up a fairy in the last room. I don't know if there really were fairies in the last room, but... Knowing, like I said, how this game is very handholdy, <laughs> there probably were fairies, but that's okay. 
No, no point looking in the past now, what I could have done right, because I'd rather forget and not slow down, than gather regret for the things that I can't change now, cause if I become what I can't accept, resurrect the saint from within the wretch, pour over me and wash my hands of this. Well, I'm, I, I feel like I would want to give a dollar to whoever can tell me what, what song, or what song those lyrics are from. I would give you a virtual, no, I don't want to say virtual dollar, cause those are actually real things. I'd give you, uh, an, an a virtual high five, okay? If you can tell me what song those lyrics are from. So close. I was so close. You. I was so close. So. C Even though I've been dying, it's not. You know, it's not my problem. This guy has problems. It's okay, just ignore me, because I really have no idea what I am saying right now. Because... I just really want to beat this guy already. <laughs> I really want to beat this guy already. Come on, oh no! I don't have a fairy in a bottle. <laughs> I don't have a fairy in a bottle, so if I die, that means I'm going to need to do this again, and run the episode even longer. <laughs> or I, I could, of course, you know, cut off you know, the moments when I died. What fun would that be for you guys? Because I know that people would, people enjoy watching people fail. I've learned anything from YouTube. Or I think it was what it was Spider-Man. I think I think it was the Green Goblin in the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. The Green Goblin was saying, "Oh, you know, what do people love more than watching their hero succeed, but watching their hero fail?" Which, in a way, is sadly true. I think depending on the context and situation. But anyway, Macker is pretty happy to see that we're alive and that we've succeeded because that means he will not be swallowed and digested by a plant because I don't think that's how I'd want to go either. Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on earth was over. His voice is, I'm giving him a weird voiceover right now, I apologize. But why are you here, Swordsman? What? The great Deku Tree sent you? Oh, th that's right! Today's the day of our annual ceremony! Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately! And yes. Yes. Hmm. Well, let's, um, I was trying to uh, think of what I was going to do next, because I know that you guys probably want to see the next part. You know, what happens after this, but I've been, already been running pretty long. But I may as well, you know. No harm, no foul, correct, in running just a little bit longer. Because I'm going to be do doing some cutting, but this one session of recording, this one sitting of recording has lasted a good 37 minutes already. Yep. It's okay. I, I divide, I'll divide it into two parts. That's my plan. I don't know why I'm telling you guys, my audience, what my plan as a producer is. Oh, Macker, you have safely returned. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but I still did not listen. Do not worry, Macker. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Shadow Jay. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I have promised you. Please accept it. And here we are. Our second pearl, which is green. Like... Four of these last episodes have been, they've been very green. <laughs> You've been seeing lots of plants and thorns and, you know, really lots of Link, because he's green too. You have received Feroar's Pearl. The Earth Spirit, the Deku Tree, has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess Feroar. Is it Ferore? I don't know. If you were to pronounce it with the Japanese syllables, I guess it would be Ferore, but I don't know. All is well, Maka. Do not cry. Please play your songs for me, as you always do. Aww. Oh, that's right! We must begin our ceremony soon, before the day ends. Before this episode ends, really, if you know what I mean. Oh, great Shadow Jay. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it.
Great Deku Tree! This year you have once again produced some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we'll continue to spread new forests across the Great Sea. Let us go, Koroks, to the sea! See you all next year! Take care! Farewell, great swordsmen! May the winds of chance bring us together again someday! And there we go. That is the Forest Haven. That is the Forbidden Woods. And I am done. I will see you guys later. Oh, uh, well, I guess that I should go ahead and show you the potion shop first. Just so that I don't need to cover it in the next episode. So that in the next episode we can just go ahead and leave. So we can just leave. Hello there. Swordsman, thank you so much for bringing Maka back to us. I am Hollow. I make potions from the fruits of the forest. I wish I could create a potion that would help you, Swordsman. But the ones I have here only seem to work on my fellow Koroks. I know! If you can somehow gain magic power, Swordsman, then you will surely need a potion that can replenish it. Then, if I can get the right ingredients, I might be able to make a potion for you. Oh, but I haven't seen the ingredients that help recover magic power here in the forest. If I add seeds from the flower monsters in the Forbidden Woods, then maybe I can make a potion for you. Do you know about these seeds? And yes, I do know about these seeds, actually. I'm curious to know how many I have in my spoils bag right now. So, how do you open this? That's not it. That's not how you open it. And that's not how you open it, either. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's try this. So, I've got five. Let's try making it. Let's see if that's enough. How's this, good sir? Oh, that's... That's a Boko Baba seed! That's it! That's what I need to make the kind of super replenishing potion that would help you swordsmen. Alright, I'm going to use four of your seeds to create a super replenishing potion. Please just wait a moment. This, this, these are po- uh, excuse me, wow. This potion will recover your magic, but not so much your health, which is really what I'd prefer, being in hero's mode. Cool. That's really all I have to say to that. Cool! Haha! <laughs> it's ready! Here you go. You got some blue potion! And energy and magic. Yep. Keep it in your bottle until you need it. Wait, energy and magic. Is that what it read? Energy and magic? You see, that's what happens when you press A without reading everything first. But, I can go ahead and read the description. Let's see. I have two bottles. Nice. Um, it'll recover both. Okay, so both life energy and magic power. So I shouldn't have been complaining because it really does replenish my health too. So, Well, looks like that's where I'm going to conclude this episode. In the next episode, we are going to go ahead and set sail for our next destination, which you guys will see, you know, whatever. You'll see it later on. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate that you guys took the time to watch this episode. If you liked this episode and would like to see more from me, please feel free to click the subscribe button. It would really help in growing my channel, and I would really appreciate it. I'd appreciate it a lot, actually. But if, if you'd like to follow me outside of YouTube, you can also follow me on twitter.com forward slash shadow j there i usually post when i not only upload videos but also when i stream uh, i plan to do some streaming from time to time but yeah you can go ahead and follow me there if you'd like to see more updates so thank you guys once again i will see you guys in the next episode so until then take care